Hello students, in this video I will demonstrate how to prepare an instrumental resolution file or IRF file required for red bill refinement using foolproof package. This file is basically essential for microstructural properties, understanding and calculate of crystallic size and strength in the materials. There are various steps. So the first step we are going to follow is to collect the data of lab 6 or silicon standard in the same diffractometer where we have collected the XRD data for the sample to be refined using filter package. Second is using uh, or void function will feed all the XRD peaks and find the peak position, FWHM contribution to the Gaussian and or Lorentzian profiles and then save the data to the notepad with extension MIRF file. This file format is fourth type and import to the rebuilt uh, package to study the microstructural properties. Let's start how we do it. So first, uh, this is my data, this is lanthanum hexaborite, it is a cubic structure and having PEM 3 bar and crystal structure, we have collected data from 1 degree to 7 degree. So there are so many peaks are available and uh, what we are going to do, we are going to calculate each peak's position and FWHM contribution for Gaussian and Lorentzian profile. So what I am going to do first, uh, create here and uh, here I am going to use this pick first so this 5 degree pick so I'm going to import that pick so I have already collected the data so import single on thing so desktop IRF file so this is the pick one so if you see the peak is basically this is the first pick so uh, yeah so this is the first pick around 5 degrees so what I'm going to do use control Y uh, then next, uh, uh, this dialog box will come. I'll select pick function. Then I'll use uh, void function. Then I'm going to use fit profile. So there is a good fit is achieved. So maximum okay. So basically, void function is a combination of Lorentzian and Gaussian profile. So here we need this following parameters here. So you can see here. Mm, yeah, here this is the Gaussian contribution, this is the Lorentzian contribution, WG and WL. So these two parameters we need and we need the center value around 5. Okay, so these are the parameters we require, right? So from XRD data, like for all the peaks, we are going to calculate this 2 theta FWHM contribution to Gaussian and Lorentzian profiles. So, so what I have done here, I have previously calculated. So I am going to show you. Uh, how to store the data so for storing the data uh, you can see here this is the standard format we have we have uh, this is the sample file the file extension name is irf file so this symbol says that this first line will not run second line will not run third line will not also run so there are five picks i have introduced one two three four five this is the two theta position this is a gaussian contribution this is a lorentzian contribution this is file type four which is basically used for the well refinement. So this symbol means this will not run in the program. So it will basically run from here to here, right? So here this is free format. So there is no spacings are involved. So you can use your own format. Make sure that spacings are in correct format, right? So this is the first two theta. So I'll just show you uh, this data table one. What we have the 5.70. So we have here. Uh, 5.70 sorry 5.70 then omega contributes to Gaussian contribution 0.002 here the same Lorentzian also here the same so what we are going to do we have to save the file in IRF format so this is a notepad and uh, uh, yeah so this format is for IRF file number of picks yes here you can add up to 60 picks okay so i have added 5 so you can more conveniently add four number of picks so next is yeah so this file is done so what i am going to do i am going to import this file to the full proof head in a full proof package so i have previously collected some data of uh, this is one of my paper where i have basically used so let me open it so I will use this XRD data, this is one of the paper published in 2022, one of my paper. So here I am going to use BCJT sample, okay, barium, calcium, zirconium, titanium. So I have used real-phase refinement, I am going to use this IRF file for this 
basically this exam data so i will always uh, suggest you many times that uh, collect the exam data in very slow scan rate so uh, let me go to the i have already completed this refinement so if you want to know the pr procedures of the refinement you can go to my youtube page and find the first part of this video where i have completed the different refinement of this no current the same procedure so just for a basic run i am just going to run it so this is a dual phase model bcjt and having p4 mm plus amm2 crystal structure so this is the fitting data this looks good so what i am going to do i am first i am going to copy paste uh, this ira file yeah so this is my ira lab 6 ira file so this is yeah. I will paste it here. So next open PCR. So here go to the pattern, go to IRF geometry. This is the fourth type, yes. So go to browse and go to the lab six and okay. So this is okay. So save it and uh, yeah. So you when you run it, there will another file will be generated known as uh, MIC file, right? So if you see this uh, MIC file. So these are the basically microstructural properties will come up and this crystallized size is 561 angstrom. So all the necessary information you can get it from here, right? So and I would like to tell you one thing. So in foolproof, when you install this uh, the software in foolproof package, basically if you go to the foolproof suite, there are so many standard IRF files that are available in the C drive. You can also check it. So this is one of the format I have used. I have done this uh, basically. Uh, mm, I received so many requests from the so many students to, to how to prepare IRF file. I hope uh, this will benefit you. And uh, so, in conclusion, I like to say that so try to fit a void function to each peak of the XRD profile of the standard you have collected. It may be a silicon standard, it may be a lab six standard, a lanthanum hexaborite. So after that, uh, so collect the two theta values, uh, this HG and SW, HL, and save the file from an IRF in extension 4 and import to XRD readable data of the sample to carry out and uh, export this data to the readable sample and complete your microstructural study. So I hope this uh, study is uh, helpful to you and uh, um, thank you for watching my video and if you have any comments you can post it in the description box you can post it and i will basically reply you and try to subscribe my channel thank you very much and uh, bye bye